So uh, let me show you how to upload and create this uh, this uh, upload this index page that you uh, that you created to your web directory. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from down here at the bottom of my Windows Explorer in my search. Hopefully you installed FileZilla uh, based on the instruction that I, I sent to you and everybody with it. So you can start that up with it. Here is the FileZilla file with it. And I want to pause. Everybody should have uh, something like this that I sent out to you in some aspect with it, right? Is that you should have um, again. This is this is in my lecture notes with it. But this part is called what is this part called? Protocol, right? It stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol with the forward slash forward slash. <clears throat> the domain starts with the www and ends with the .edu. So anything that ends with a .com or anything like that, .net, .gov, they're all domains with it. This part from here to here is your directory, your what's called your path. So if you recall from the DOS command that I talked about, that starts with the uh, folder directory and it goes all the way to a subdirectory with it as well. What you don't see here is the index.html. That's already been set for you on the web server. You don't have to worry about that. And the FTP ES here, what does this refer to? It's referred to the protocol of the file transfer protocol um, secure socket that you're connecting to. So and this is the FTP domain that you're going to connect to our server with it. Again, well, all these things are, 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 are uh, should be in my HTML section that I talked to you about before. The reason I have you do this on the uh, side that it's already done on a document where you can copy and paste because it's very cumbersome to type all those uh, symbols on the password with it. So if you have that email that I sent you or some sort of electronic document where you have this information on, keep it handy so you can uh, um, connect to it as well. So I'm going to pause the computer because I don't want to show the password and the username uh, with this username with it and I'm going to come right back to it as well. Okay, so hang on a second. Hang on. So let me pick up where we left off. I am um, I have this document over here, and this is another class I'm connecting to right now with it. So I copy and paste this um, this FTP into the host, and then I actually put in the web with a four-digit number into the username. Of course, I typed in the password or paste in the password that you don't see. And I click on Quick Connect, and um, and it looks like this. You say popped up on a certificate on authenticity with it. I click OK. There should be a default on the left hand side. The right hand side is the server. This pane and this pane is the Windows server. This left side over here, I'm circling over with my mouse. That's that is the um, local computer that you're on right now. I would like to drag this over to the right. Just drag it over. It's going to replace it. Yes. Click OK. So it replaces it with this. Well, this top panel over here tells you this. The, there's connections that I already have, and at the bottom panel tells you that the transfer files have successfully replaced. Now, after you do that, if you highlight, this is what needs to be seen in the web browsers, the HTTP. I'm gonna highlight, copy that. Yours is whatever I sent you. And if you want to open up any web browser that you're currently being hold right now, like this right here, and you're going to paste that in here like this and hit enter, and this is you're hitting the web server exactly with this. So um, I need for you to be able to do this on a regular basis, once a week at least, to update your index page. Okay? All right. That can, this will conclude the session right now.